What's up guys? It's your girl Nisha Nyla and today I am back with another video. So as you guys can see by the title, today I will be making the long awaited video. This is the video that everyone has been asking for. You guys have been on my ASS about this video and I am here to give it to you guys. So as you can tell by the title, today I will be discussing the HESI A2 math section. For this section, I am going to be listing a few questions that will be very similar to the questions that will be on the math portion. And I will be giving you guys a lot more in-depth details about the math portion of the HESI A2 exam. So before I get into the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe to my channel if this video is helpful. And check out my channel and check out some other content that I have available for you guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It'll be linked down below in the description box and it'll be on the screen. And without further ado, let's just hop right into the video. Okay, so before I hop right into the questions, I would like to talk about resources. So the resources that I use for the math portion of the exam were Quizlet, Nurse Shy's video and Nurse Hub. So I do recommend Nurse Hub only if you have those two to extra three months to study because when it comes to Nurse Hub, unfortunately you are gonna be spending money. It's gonna be at least 20 to $30 a month. I could be wrong, but with that being said, you will be spending money. So if you have that extra time, go ahead. It's kind of like an investment, um, but it'll be very, very, very beneficial if you do have that extra time. If you do not have that extra time, you're gonna rush through the sections and you're not gonna be able to get the most knowledge from your subscription. So it'll just be a waste of money at that point and it won't be as beneficial as it could be. If you don't have that time, then I recommend Quizlet. Quizlet is just like flashcards. You can play games and it has very, 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 very similar questions. So what's going to be on your exam? I'm going to link the quiz that I'm referring to right now down below in the description box. But definitely, definitely, definitely use Quizlet if you don't have those extra two to three months to study. A Nurse Shy's video is a great video to use to study for the math section. Keep it on repeat. The more knowledge that you gain from that video, the more prepared you'll feel when you have to go take the math section of the HESI A2 exam. So altogether, those three resources are the resources that I recommend you use to study for the math section of the HESI A2 exam. Okay, so now I'm going to get into all of the details in regards to the math section. For the math section, there will be 55 questions. Within those 55 questions, you will have questions in regards to fractions, decimals, ratio and proportions. There's going to be word problems, conversions. There's going to be basic addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, the whole nine. For fractions, you'll need to know how to add a fraction, how to subtract a fraction, multiply, divide fractions. Um, you need to know how to convert a mixed number into a fraction turn a fraction into a decimal, um, percentages. There is a good bit of percentages up there as well. For word questions, there there isn't that many word questions. Throughout the 55 questions, I wanna say there were about maybe like eight or nine word questions, but they weren't that, they weren't challenging. And a lot of them, a lot of the word problems had to do with knowing your conversions. So I'm also gonna get into conversions in this video as well. Um, you definitely want to know your proportions because there was a good bit, I could say maybe like 10, 12, 13 questions about ratio and proportions. Ratios and proportions are very simple, very straight to the point. So I'm going to go into detail about that. Nurse Shy does have a section in her video that is specifically for Roman numerals, but I didn't have any Roman numerals on my exam. You shouldn't have any on yours because the one that I took was the latest version, 2023, for version one. But I didn't have any Roman numerals on my exam, but just in case you do have some Roman numerals on your exam, make sure you know your Roman numerals as well. Out of those 55 questions, there will be five like freelance or unscored questions because they don't count against you. They can only help you if you get them right. So that's important to keep that in mind. But also keep in mind that those are specifically just five questions and it's only those five questions that do not count against you if you get them wrong. 
So now I'm going to talk about conversions. Uh, the metric system is definitely something you want to know because it's very, very, very important, especially for a lot of the word problems on the exam. They have a lot to do with conversions. Easy questions to get right if you do know the metric conversion system inside and out. So I'm going to put a sheet up here and I'm going to also read off to you guys now, but I'm going to put it up here so you guys can see it. Make sure you know this sheet inside and out and you should be fine for all of the word problems. So the first conversion is going to be one cubic centimeter and it equals one millimeter. This conversion is going to be a thousand milliliters and it's going to equal one liter. The next conversion is going to be a thousand milliliters and it equals one liter. No, 30 milliliters equals one ounce. No, eight ounces equals one cup. Know that two cups equals one pint. Know that two pints equal one, I mean, excuse me. Know that two cups equal one pint. Know that two pints equals one quart. And know that four quarts equals one gallon. Now, there is the G um, drawing with like the cups and the two P's and the C's. That is also important to know. That kind of sums up a lot of the information that I just told you. Majority of it, if you know how to read the G uh, drawing, you should be fine. Um, I'm going to include the G drawing in here too. And it's pretty self-explanatory. If you listen to what I just told you, as far as two pints equaling one quart, four quarts equal one gallon, you'll be able to see all of that information within the G drawing. So as far as weight, you want to know that 16 ounces equal one pound. You want to know that 2.2 pounds equals one kilogram. And you also want to know that 2,000 pounds equals one ton. You also want to know that 1,000 milligrams equals one gram. You want to know that 100 centigrams equals one gram. You want to know that 1,000 kilograms equals one ton. Now, as far as distance, these are the measurements that you'll need to know for distance. The first one is 10 millimeters equals one centimeter. You want to know that 2.54 centimeters equal one inch. You want to know that 100 centimeters equals one meter. You want to know that 1,000 meters equals one kilometer. You also want to know that 12 inches equals a foot. You want to know that three feet equals one yard, and you want to know that 5,280 feet equal 1,760 yards, which equals one mile. So as far as conversions and measurements, everything that I just ran off to you, that is all the conversions and measurements that you need to know. I'll say that you won't need to know in depth all of that. If you could put those measurements that I just ran off to you guys in a Quizlet, and run through those flashcards, keep them on repeat. You'll be able to learn those and memorize those. And it'll make the test honestly 10 times easier. I remembered half of these and I did pretty well on the exam. So if you remember all of them, you got yourself a good grade, okay? Now I'm gonna get into the part that you all have been waiting for. These are the questions that are gonna be very, 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 very similar to the questions that will be on your math portion. The first question is convert five and three fourths to a decimal. So how you would do that is it's five and three fourths. You would take three, you would divide it by four and you would get a decimal. Your five is always gonna be there. So with that being said, your answer would be 5.8. The next question, which is a word problem, would be a warehouse worker ships 25 boxes each day. Each box contains three shipping labels. Inventory has 500 shipping labels. How many days will it take to use the inventory of shipping labels round to the nearest whole number? And the answer is it'll take seven days for them to use all the shipping labels. Now, as far as ratio and proportion, we have ratio and proportion. 6 to 10 and 24 to x. For this one, 6 times what equals 24? 6 times 4 equals 24. So you're going to do 10 times 4 equals what? And that's going to be your x. 
So the X in this problem is gonna be 40. A class of 25 students has 44% of boys. How many boys are there? And your answer is gonna be 11 boys. 3.44 divided by 0 0.6. For questions like this, you can literally put it in the calculator and get your answer. So the answer for this one is gonna be 5.73. The next question is, solve if x equals 11, and then the problem is x plus 44 divided by 2x. So for this one, where we have x plus 11, they already told us in the problem that x equals 11, so you're gonna do 11 plus 44, which is gonna give us 55 on that side of the equation. And then we have divided by two times x, Again, x is 11, so 2 times 11 is going to give us 22. And your answer is going to be 13. Next question is going to be 4 and 7 eighths divided by 1 and 1 sixths. You want to convert these to fractions and change the um, denominator to the same denominator. It'll make it 10 times easier. But there are a lot of different ways to do them, but that's just how I did it for me and um, that's the best way I know how to do it. So that's how I did it and it worked for me during the exam. So the answer to that question would be four and five over 28. Okay, so this is another good question that I had on my Hessier 2 exam for the math portion. The question is, a dice is rolled. What is the probability of getting five? And the answer is gonna be a 16.6%. Remember probability, Majority of the time has everything to do with percentages. You want to know everything about percentages, especially before you take this exam, because there are a lot of questions about percentages on this exam. This is another one that's very similar to what you'll see on your exam. It says, Sally eats three-fifths of her lunch. John eats 75%. Who ate more? Three, you're going to divide it by five. It's going to give you a decimal. Based on that decimal, you'll be able to determine the percentage, and then you'll compare the two percentages. So the answer would be John, if you did it right. One fourth plus three eighths. What you wanna do is just change the denominator and add. And you'll get five over eight. So for the math section, those questions that I read off are literally gonna be down below in the Quizlet and it'll have more details on how to go through and break down for a lot of different questions that are going to be very, 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 very similar to the ones that you see in your exam. For the math section, you have to go into it being confident. For the entire exam, you have to go into it being confident, but specifically for the math section, if math is not your strong suit, I would say do your research on the math section. Make sure you know decimals inside and out make sure you know fractions inside and out make sure you know percentages inside and out make sure you know ratio and proportions inside and out try your best to master very 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 simple word problems because for me when i was preparing for the math section math was going to be my challenge area for sure and it's just because it's math like I'm not a big fan of math, never have been since eighth grade. I honestly feel like we all have like that eighth grade teacher or that ninth grade teacher who ruined the subject for us. But hey, that's neither here nor there, okay? Make sure you know a lot of the different kind of questions that are gonna be up there. Make sure you know them inside and out. Do a lot of research when it comes to your word problems. If you look at this Quizlet and another video that I'm gonna link down below, there are some exact word questions in the video that will be on your HESIA 2 exam. So literally, if you watch the video and remember the question, you'll remember the answer. Boom, easy fix. You don't even gotta do no work. Straight off of memory. Straight off of memory, you got a question right. So when it comes to the math section, again, it's all about the way you prepare. So those three resources, Quizlet, Nurse Hub, Nurse Shaw's YouTube video, those are the three that I use to prepare. Again, when it comes to math, you know, I'm not bad at math. Let me just say that. I'm not bad at math. I can sit down and do it. I don't have the patience for a lot of math. Um, has a lot to do with formulas. I hate formulas. I hate 
like formulas and then um if you do one thing wrong it's like the whole answer is wrong but it's really not wrong because you only did one step wrong but it's wrong because it's not the right answer that's the only thing that i don't like about math you just really need to know the basics of math in order to pass this section math is not as challenging as you think it is that's something I learned on this exam, especially because I scored so high in the math section, knowing that I'm not a big fan of math in general. Math isn't as hard as you think it is. Math is as hard as you make it. I'm going to say it again. Math is not as hard as you think it is, but it is as hard as you make it. It's not difficult. I promise you this math section is not difficult. It's the basics. It's the basics of all of what we learned in, I want to say, 8th and ninth grade and a little bit in high school, but mainly 8th and ninth grade. It's literally 8th grade, ninth grade math. Do a little bit reviewing. Do a little bit more preparation. Use those quizlets that I have linked down below and you will be just fine. Here are all the tips that I have for the math section because, again, it's not super duper complicated. Use the resources that I give you for the math section and you will be just fine. If you have any other questions in regards to the math section, comment it down below. Questions that I listed are very, very, very similar, if not the same questions that you will have on your math section. So definitely, definitely, definitely take advantage of the resources that I'm giving you guys. They won't point you in the wrong direction. They'll point you in the right direction to make a great grade on your HESI A2 exam math portion. So I hope I answer all you guys' questions. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you guys have any additional questions about the math section, be sure to comment them down below or DM me on Instagram. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to follow me on Instagram. It'll be linked down below in the description box. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.